If you're asked to graph the equation x plus y equals 6, here's how you can do it. There are actually several ways. So the first way is you could take and use slope-intercept formula. You could rearrange this into slope-intercept formula and graph it that way. There's a link at the end of this video on how to do that. In this video, we're going to use a table of values here to figure out the graph for x plus y equals 6. So let's put some values in for x, and then we'll find the values for y. We'll get those points and graph them. If we had x is 0, that would mean y plus 0 equals 6. So x is 0, y is just going to equal 6. We can choose any values for x, but it's good to choose values that will fit on our graph here. So how about we say x is 1. If x is 1, 1 plus y equals 6. Let's subtract 1 from both sides. So y equals 6 minus 1, 5. So we have y equals 5. And we could just use two points to graph the equation x plus y equals 6, but it's better to have 3 in case you make an error up here. So why don't we just say 2? So if we had 2 for x, 2 plus y equals 6. We subtract 2 from both sides. y equals 6 minus 2. y equals 4. So these are the points we'll graph for the equation x plus y equals 6. So we go to x is 0 and y is 6. x is 0, y is 6. That's the y-intercept there. And then we go to x is 1, y is 5. And our third point, x is 2, y is 4. And you can see we have our line there. Let's put a line through that. We can put arrows to show it goes to infinity. That's the graph for x plus y equals 6. We could put different values in for x. We get a value for y. And if we graphed it, it'd be somewhere along this line here. This is Dr. B graphing the equation x plus y equals 6. Thanks for watching.